Hi, I'm Rich Sealing with Make Better Prints, and today I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop to prepare files with my ultra high resolution print process for printing on Canon Pro Series printers. So I've got here a 36 megapixel file from a photograph down on uh, the Pacific Coast, Pacific Grove, and we're going to target this for an 8x12. And this step of preparing something for a print, I call targeting. That means making a specific file for a specific use at a specific size. And it starts by sizing the image with Photoshop's image size box. Now, a common way that people do this here, let's just shift ourselves from inches, is they pick a resolution and then size, say, 8 by uh, 12 here, and say, okay, well, I'm going to do that at 300 DPI. And you can see we're downsizing the file. And the, the trick here, look up here at image size, was 206 megabytes, now is 49 megabytes. That means we're downsizing that file. We're uh, resing down. And we don't want to do that. So the way we use this high resolution printing process is we uncheck resample right here. This is why this resampled is because we have resampling on. I'm going to turn resampling off. We're going to have to type these dimensions back in. And you can see now I have an 8 by 12 at 613.333 DPI. So it's not resizing the file. Look at image size. It's 206.9. It doesn't say now or was or any of that. It's keeping it exactly the same. All the pixels are there. It's just changing what it's telling uh, any device to read them out at. We're saying we want this to read at 8 by 12 inches, but we want to be at 613 DPI, which is the full resolution of that 36 megapixel capture. So when I do this, this is printing at high resolution and I'm making a print at a 613 DPI here. I'm going to get that high resolution effect that we're looking for. So I'm going to click OK. And I'm, again, I'm not resizing the file. I'm just changing the internal marker for this file that the printing software or other software is going to read to say, hey, this is supposed to be an 8 by 12 file. So I'm going to click OK. And let me show you what we're going to do for printing here. I've tested this with the Canon Print Studio Pro plugin. I haven't done it outside of it. It should work there, but we'll just stay consistent here. This is what I actually know works. So we've got the Canon Print Studio Pro, and I'm going to pick my paper to print this on. We're going to print this on uh, Canon Luster. And I happen to have a custom profile for this. And let's just uh, put this on legal size paper so this 8x12 will fit on it. And we'll just quickly look at the settings here. So you choose your printer and your media type and your paper. Cut sheet. This is the one you need to look at. I always print at this highest print quality setting because I always want the best that I can get out of a printer and a paper combination. So make sure you're on highest. Uh, that's what you need to get the best prints from any DPI. And since we're sending it lots of extra DPI, we want everything the printer can deliver. You know, I haven't even really tested these. They do, uh, they do some different things. So use the highest. We're going for quality, not speed here. Quality is what matters. We're trying to make the most beautiful print we can. So we keep it there. Um, other settings are just particular to what I use, so we're not going to go into that. So we click print, and voila, a beautiful print's going to be coming off your printer using this high-resolution technique. And there's just one thing left to do. Click the like button, click the subscribe button to get more videos on Make Better Prints, and visit my website, makebetterprints.com, to see more printing tips to make better prints.